Alan Maina. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude, man. how are you? Fine, thank you. 2022 <laughs> is a year of uh, adventure. Yes. Venturing into th new things. Things that you have not ventured in a long time. Me. For example, <laughs> doobie rides. <laughs> <laughs> to that. <laughs> ah, but it's so good to see you, man. Karibu. It's been years. Yes, it's been years. Last I saw you, you were at a wedding. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 that was the last time I saw you. How have you been, man? I'm very well. Very yes. Well, yeah. Ah. Alan, it's so good to have you. Same here, same here. We, we've told people about you and how you're going to come and encourage us, Ashanda. Uh, people burn bridges with yeah. other people. Yeah. I, I can live here. We have a bad argument with Danko and I say, from now henceforth, I'm never talking to him again. It has happened before. Kifiriti. Uh, but two, two hours later, I don't go. No, I, and yeah. you? Yeah. I'm fine. We, we as guys break up very quickly. But uh, people are actually wondering and shocked that you can actually burn, burn bridges. bridges with God. Oh, definitely. That's mm -hmm. very true. Mm -hmm. There are many people who've been, mm -hmm. um, especially in this time of Corona. Nice. Mm -hmm. There's so many people, even before, mm -hmm. who've gone through a lot of discouragement. Yes. Have gone through a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. Others um, wondering or or expectation of hope or deferred. They kept yeah. knowing that ah, I was going to break through. Uh -huh. Something was going to happen. Yes. And they, they were so close yet, yet so far. Mm -hmm. So some of them, the inward, there's some people who are outward, outwardly. They say, God, me, I don't even want your stories. Yeah. Mm. There's some inward who are quiet. They fear God. <laughs> but inside, they're just saying, Yes. Some actually were hoping to get married, didn't. Mm. Some yes. were hoping to break out, they didn't. Some lost a loved one. Yes. yes. Some broke up. Um, this like this wonderful lady was telling me mm -hmm. they planned the wedding and then the guy didn't show yeah mm -hmm. like for example you know those are very uh, painful yes they um, are. Um, circumstances this is true and the problem comes in when we perceive mm -hmm. that the hand of God was behind this mm -hmm. this um, and misfo uh, misfortunes, misfortunes yeah. yes yeah so what happens mm -hmm. is the people who inwardly have done it correct and the people who outwardly I've done it. Right. Like I uh, spoke to someone who was a great giver. Yeah. Actually, I've not seen such a giver for a long time. Mm -hmm. But when I called her like um, like a couple of days ago, she told me I don't want to hear about church. Whoa. Whoa. And this was someone who could literally give. I mean, I'm not talking about, about a little money. I'm talking about thousands mm -hmm. of dollars. Mm. Like or, like over uh, on and on. And, and she, was, mm -hmm. she was hurt by some people in church. In church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, first I want to make, uh, I want to let there be a demarcation yes, or yes. a difference mm -hmm. between God, God and the church. And the people in church. The yeah. people in church. Mm -hmm. It's very important to separate the two. To separate the two. And why is that? But we yeah. are, he, he made in his image and, and likeness. And people say we are the church. And, and the church is, is the temple of the Lord we are. Fantastic. In fact, you're not <laughs> wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's very important right. that we we learn to teach people yeah. that there's a human face behind every man of god and even the leadership in the church there's a wow. human wow yep yeah in the absence yep. of understanding that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meaning when they say human face meaning mm -hmm. that they, they, you'll, you'll you'll find some element of weakness limitation limitation mm. yeah yep yep and and that man of god can miss it there you go. And so when you understand that, that's why we put, we're meant to put um, systems in place Correct. so that we check each other. Check mm -hmm. each other, yeah. So you should have a man of God who's checking another man of God who's checking another man of God who check each other. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is that it minimizes those moments of missing it mm -hmm. and hurting the flock. But in the absence of that, mm -hmm. you find many people have run in one direction, mm -hmm. been hurt by Correct. one or two people, yeah. and uh, they can't believe it. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they, they quit that, that that's God mm -hmm. who did that to them. Oh. And so they want to burn the bridges as God, they yeah, don't they want to. the stories mm -hmm. anymore. And so what happens, even now, right now, if you find even people who are antagonists, sometimes atheists, mm -hmm. they all have the same argument, yeah. that this person hurt me. And usually, um, I've tried to to study at those people, and mm -hmm. all of them, yes, or let me say majority, I found they have very bad relationships with, or no relationship with their biological father. Oh. 
Mm. Are you saying that sometimes the the relationship we have, not sometimes, the relationship we have with God can be equated to the relationship we have with our Athlete. authority? Uh, yeah. Or whoever is in our life? Definitely, definitely. Okay. In fact, the, a, a parent is the first, especially a father, mm -hmm. his presence, absence, or his, his um, presence hurting the child or whatever mm -hmm. he did, mm -hmm. that's the first imprint people have of God. Oh, people know God as the Father, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you you notice this. Go find people who are very strong in God. You find mm -hmm. they had a very strong relationship with their father, mm -hmm. or if they had no father, mm -hmm. they, they they got an imprint from yeah. a father. It could be a coach, it could be somebody mm -hmm. who left that very strong mm -hmm. imprint, a positive image that mm -hmm. is. So it makes them easier to relate with God. So what happens is mm -hmm. that's the first place. Then when people don't have that and they go to church, they find another father, mm -hmm. but then they they have not really um, found that man who's standing maybe in maturity. Yes. What happens is that it leaves a very negative imprint of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. So they they just equate that with God. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand because I think, do we as the flock have... Ex are we allowed to have expectation? Because at the end of the day, what yes, I'm hearing yeah. is that our expectation yes. that the man of God should be blameless and faultless mm -hmm. or reflect the actual image of Christ mm -hmm. and forget that there's a face before that. Mm -hmm. Is that what causes us to br to to have fault lines within mm -hmm. in our relationship with God? Oh yes, that the, uh, it's not the totality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the things. One of the things, yes. And one, what I want to say is first, I want to apologize because mm. of because um, of that place mm -hmm. the men of God have oh. taken or mm. the women of God, Ooh. because what they've done in the, in some sense they've painted this picture mm. of um, um, God's special mouthpiece, mm. and whatever I see is black. And blue right so what has happened mm -hmm. as a result mm -hmm. is that yes people end up believing in totality that 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 is black that, that is, is what the, what is, is black yeah. what they say is black is black. black what they say is white is white, is white. yeah however it's very important mm. when you're training the flock and teaching mm. the flock mm. it's mm. very important to introduce to them the human aspect so that they also take a step back mm. and understand on boundaries boundaries and limits mm -hmm. to the man of god mm. what he can what he can't do. do okay so that what happens is mm -hmm. you see how the god called the church to function not mm -hmm. under one man of god mm -hmm. he called the church to function as a like a team mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's why he, he even put in a fivefold ministry mm -hmm. apostles prophets evangelists pastors teachers mm -hmm. so the systems god put in the body they they are very sound in checking each other mm. and in keeping each other balanced for the flock sick mm -hmm. but when you follow just one mm, one just one voice mm -hmm. what happens is it's not bad but it's it leaves you almost vulnerable mm. because as a man of god you have to understand that um you you don't carry everything and that's mm -hmm. what the bible says in in Corinthians chapter 12 mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 12 that we have different, different. members of yeah. the body mm -hmm. he says if the, the eye cannot say to the ear mm -hmm. I have no need of you Correct. neither can the ear say to the hand I have mm -hmm. no need of you mm -hmm. that in itself is mm -hmm. trying to say that a man of God who's maybe an eye mm -hmm. needs another man of God who's a ear yeah okay who needs another man of God who is a hand yeah who needs another man of God who is a leg mm -hmm. so when you understand that now if you see people who've sat under someone, a man of God who's an eye, mm. you will see that the church is very sharp in seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But they could be blunt in hearing. Hey. <laughs> and so Here we what? Go. Yes. And mm -hmm. so what happens when these members mm -hmm. require to hear? Mm -hmm. This is where they go. Things go wrong mm. when they require mm. to hear or they require, require to move. Mm -hmm. So you have great people who are prophetic, but they're not. Sometimes they're not balanced. They've not been taught. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you find people who are prophetic, but they've not been taught. Mm -hmm. You find people who've just been taught, but they they cannot design the prophetic. And prophetic is a ministry mm -hmm. in the body which was planted there mm -hmm. to help people design times, seasons and what God was doing and what God is doing in their lives because the prophetic is actually the deep revelation of the mind and the heart of God mm -hmm. for a particular person, a family, a situation.
So the prophetic is very sharp in that. Mm-hmm. Does that mean if you're not in the church, you can't hear? No, you can, but the prophetic clarifies it. Mm-hmm. The prophet gives it direction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But within the prophetic, you need a balance of the teaching. Because mm-hmm. the prophetic shows you times and seasons. The teaching gives you principles on how to navigate in those times and seasons. Wow. No. So what I mean is, <laughs> let me, I don't want to go too deep, but yes, what yeah. I'm trying to say is like, if um, Danko here yes. is a wonderful singer, mm. and he is, and, he and, is. and yeah. we are all under him, mm. yeah. yeah, what will happen is, see, most, most people sharpened. will be inclined into music, music yeah. and singing uh-huh. and everything. Yes, yes. Well, Tina maybe was a teacher, mm-hmm. and she's very strong in the academia. You will find mm-hmm. many people around there will will be inclined to study more mm-hmm. or do things. So if you meet both of these members, mm-hmm. you will find that the people who are uh, musical, yes. mm-hmm. if they joined with the people who are, are, are have been taught, mm-hmm. yes. you will find that they are well balanced. Okay. So coming back to the the topic is, yes. mm-hmm. some people burn bridges because sometimes you they followed one voice for so long, oh, yeah. Yeah. but they've not they're not holistic as people. Exactly. So you're prophetic, but you've not been taught mm-hmm. on to. the principles on how to get there. Okay. Yeah. But the chat is- so, so wait. So and what I'm understanding is you're gonna burn this bridge because you have no understanding. Yes. Yes. You have not sta- sat under, you have not been taught, you've you've not come to the place of understanding of what your gift is. So you not only burn your bridge with the with the set man of God, you also burn your bridge with God. Yes. Because you're not in understanding of what your gift can do for you. Oh yeah. Yes. Senior. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I wanted to apologize because what the first fundamental teaching is mm-hmm. we are meant to teach people mm-hmm. and fundamental teachings people are meant to know is first and foremost how to have a personal relationship with God. Mm. And th- that should be anchored on God himself. Okay. So what happens yeah. is when you don't teach people that mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you, you, you start advancing them in more advanced teaching, mm-hmm. when shakings come, they don't have something to fall back mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. So it's very important to show people how to have a personal relationship mm-hmm. with God yeah. and to really understand yeah. like who God is. Right. And, right. and I, I must say this, mm-hmm. um, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says mm. whoever comes to god mm. must believe that he is that's number one yes mm-hmm. then he is a rewarder uh-huh. of those who diligently seek him yes so let me let me just say something about that mm-hmm. when i say that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him mm-hmm. i did not say he, he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek his blessings mm-hmm. seek him it means seek him mm. <laughs> It's very. Fun. There's a difference. It's very strong. Let me give you the difference. Yeah. If you find a person who was taught about God mm-hmm. and sought God for God to be in a relationship with Him, right? To just to know Him and understand Him, right? They will have an authenticity mm. to their faith. An authenticity to yes. their faith. And a solid, mm. a solid, a, a, a very strong, solid um, a b- background mm. to their faith mm-hmm. or or foundation of their faith. Mm. So that when they're seeking God, if they don't get things when they need things, mm. their faith will still be sure in God. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. But their if faith is still sure. It's still sure that. in God. Yes. They may they may be a bit distraught, they may not understand everything, mm-hmm. but at least they know I have God. Okay. And I have a relationship with him. Mm. So you they, they'll have this confidence. God may not have come when I needed him to come mm. or when I needed him to come. But somehow, the somehow. way I know him. Yes. Because God uh, has many pictures. He reveals himself as one as a father who okay. is true, sure, and not, not a bad father, a good father. Good father. So if a father is there for his children. Right. Then you definitely you will know that God will have your back. So if you understand him in that sense, mm-hmm. you will know, I know it's not working, but somehow I know that I know mm-hmm. God has my back. Mm. So that's somebody who sought God for God. Mm. At least they got that relation of a father. Mm. Another picture God gives himself is as a shepherd. Mm-hmm. And the shepherd, good shepherd is the one who goes ahead, lays his life for the sheep. So if God has revealed that to that person, mm. what people will know is that, okay, God has my back mm. yes yes i know things are not working but he has my back yeah so if they have that inner understanding you will see that that understanding mm. will anchor them in times of storm in time times of waiting in times of times of disappointment yes yes and that's very important okay mm. okay so but there's number two mm-hmm. people who are taught 
about God, mm-hmm. the benefits mm-hmm. before they were taught about God. They were taught about God's blessings before, before being taught about God. God. Yes. So their faith was anchored on what God would do for them instead, and and of, instead of, who of, of who, who he is. He is. Listen, we're going to take a very short break. Yes. And uh, Danko is going to bring us up to date with what's happening in the news in just a few. Mm-hmm. But you're listening to the voice of Alan Miner, who is uh, quite, you know, the teacher of the word and also uh, has a very prophetic inclination. Today, as we learn about rebuilding bridges, I hope you're getting something. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have a question for him. And listen, feel free. Remember, we're a judge free zone. Feel free to ask any question. You can send it to the number 0702 969 969. You're also watching us on www.pearlradio.co.ke. You can catch a glimpse of our brother here at a mask and uh you, you have any question for it duncan won't she got something me me like so now lisa because I, i've had and, and I, there's one thing that is stuck in my mind and we're going to come back to that mm-hmm. we're in africa yeah where churches are more leader oriented than god oriented sorry to say that all right it's look at me is how they present themselves as perfect as the embodiment of christ himself to the masses so it's going to be very difficult for you uh-huh. not to see uh the limitations in quotes of god through yeah. this man because when he fails mm-hmm. then that means and then there's no one to keep them accountable because the church is a standalone yeah so you have a lot of people walking away burning the bridges but we need to also know now okay i've walked away you want me to come back how why? Well, well. All right. So Alan's going to take us in that direction in a few. Yes. My name is Tina Nzuki. My name is Dan Kotalak. We are live on www.palready.co.ke mm-hmm. and we are here with Alan Miner. Tina Nzuki. Dan Kotalak. Alan Miner. <laughs> Alan, we love you. Yeah. Alan, we just love Alan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yes. Alan, okay, so now Alan right in my name. Alan in my name. Yeah. Yes. You had the question that Danko asked. Right. And, hey, hey, feel free. Uh, we're looking at your text this morning. Don't know where that went to. Yes. Uh, feel free and... Uh, call us. Yeah, call us. On it, 0701-969-969. Super admin uh, is going to bring in the phone in just a just bit. Just a few. Oh, that's true. But we're trying to figure out, like, is, is our limitation mm-hmm, mm-hmm, being mm-hmm. Africans? Because, you see... We tend to worship That's true. the man of God so much. <laughs> and therefore, who is to blame in this situation? <laughs> the man of God whose poise <laughs> is of a, somehow Christ <laughs> to the people <laughs> or the people who have expectations and see Christ through this man. Oh, that's a very good question, mm. mm-hmm. but we have to understand where we're coming from right. mm-hmm. as a people. Mm. We need to understand we live in a society that mm. was mainly... Um, governed by kings mm-hmm. and priests so what happened is in the in the background of people's yes. people's mindsets right they, they strongly believed that once you have the right leader everything would flow mm-hmm. in the right way right. and also when you had the the right priests mm-hmm. that these people could make intercession for god and everything would work in your favor yes and that same character Mm-hmm. is in people mm-hmm. who also believed people believe a lot here in witchcraft yeah. <laughs> or, ma- or you can say magic yes okay. that's why in Just every co- in, in, in every in every corner <laughs> yeah you will find muganga kutoka mal you know yes. so, <laughs> what, <laughs> tanga. Yes. Yes. Tanga. Hmm. so what these people are actually exuding that faith in <laughs> those people uh-huh. and the, the, in that solution in that person if they go sort him out and mm. everything is okay yeah so what happens it's much easier to find a man of God to do everything for you. Mm-hmm. Pray, pray, let me bring my money, let me do everything. You, you, you go up there like Moses, you talk to God and then come down and, and tell, tell us wow. what he's doing. Wow, yeah. But what happens is that is sometimes works when you're in initial stages mm-hmm. as a believer, but you have to develop a hearing ear and a seeing eye. Mm-hmm. For your own self. For your own self. In other words, to <laughs> try and to try understand yes. what, your place in the body, mm-hmm. what you are called to do, mm-hmm. who you are called to be, mm-hmm. and just to understand differences of seasons. Right. There is also a huge misunderstanding of God. Most mm-hmm. people think God is Father Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, He comes bearing gifts yeah, all, the all the time. Oh yeah, and not only that. Mm. Mm. Is that is 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 that his Father Christmas is meant to actually do something for me, Ooh. and they don't understand that the God was very categorical in the pictures. Mm-hmm. He he allowed us to know about him. Yes, mm-hmm. a father. 
Mm. If you have a father, a father's it's a father's job to say no. Mm. Eh? Mm. It's a father's, yes. job, it's a father's to say, job. Yes, yeah. to say wait. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I remember the other day there's a little boy who wanted to he was busy you know running away with a knife. <laughs> and when he was this life was snatched from him he was so angry yes like how could you do this to me yeah you as a parent you mm. can see that he doesn't have the the ability mm. or the development necessary mm. to handle that knife mm. so so there's so many people who don't understand that when mm-hmm. god says he's a father there are four things you need to understand about a father number right, one right. a father has your best interest as heart right mm-hmm. however he is the one who understands your seasons Mm. Nice. Better yeah, than that, you. Yeah. Better than, than you. you. Way better. Yes. For example, you right now you have a your child. Yes. You know he, this is time for him to go to school. Yes. If he comes at 12 years old, I had ah, dad, no ma'am. I think I've met the one. <laughs> 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 that, that, a trophy is a Let me tell you. Ma- <laughs> During break time, yeah. I met the one. I want to get married. Right. And and dad, you have to get these cows and goats for me. <laughs> no, <we haven't. laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's, it seems, it makes sense. Yes, it no. seems ridiculous, but yeah. in in actuality, true story. Many do. believers do that. Hi, yeah. By the way, yes. this is exactly what we do. Yes, and God many is going people like, oh. have already gone and yeah. uh, God, it's time. You know, <laughs> you look at me. I'm a man, red blooded man. I'm yeah. ready, and God is saying that just the other day you were in a fist fight with somebody. <laughs> yes, just <laughs> the other toddler. morning you've already removed someone's tooth. <laughs> just the other time you're telling that policeman, could you come away? You know, <laughs> and the other time you you've been in left, right, and center, you've been punching yourself. So you want God to trust you with someone's very beautiful daughter yeah. now you, to right come now. exercise your muscles on <laughs> just because of small arguments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, yeah. you look like you're you're mentally mm-hmm. you're, you're mentally mature, but mm-hmm. you're really not. Yes, you need to come to a place of emotional healing mm-hmm. and emotional maturity, mm-hmm. mental healing, mental maturity, and spiritual healing, spiritual maturity. Mm-hmm. In to a, to a, st- a place is where you can be trusted right with that other person so yes. a father yeah. knows about seasons he does yes he does. so he knows when what is necessary mm-hmm. okay so that that lack of understanding of that concept or mm-hmm. that principle yes. has made people very distraught or angry with god mm. because uh, this is on the wanted this but god didn't come through mm. yes but god has already arranged these seasons it's yes. for us to ask him yes okay what do you what should I be praying for in this season? Mm-hmm. 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 And then for us to yield to him. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Not to be like little small spoiled children who go into the supermarket and are screaming. Mm-hmm. If you had a child and who wants like 15 two or 200 uh, um, um, toys. Toys. Mm-hmm. Yes. It, it's not even healthy right. for that child. No. You have to allow him to have one or two, mm-hmm. learn how to handle them. Then yeah. four, three, four, five, learn how to handle them. Then mm. five, six, seven. Mm. So I think that's where the problem is. Okay. Yeah. C- could we take a very small break and then we come back and and and, and Alan, feel free to uh, just keep guiding us. But but I love ex- I love exactly what's going on here. How you're telling us from point A to point B to. <laughs> You use the children, you and then it just it's really, really us. It's yes, really us. But, but think know. about it this way yes. even in matters governance, mm. the less people know about the power they have or mm-hmm. they wield, the easier it is to manipulate. Hmm. So, you're telling me that they teach me how to, to understand God for me, understand, have a personal walk with Christ by myself. Mm-hmm. Then, how will I? Mm be easy to be to sh- to be shipped around what With is your view of god yeah wh- what is that's a good question mm-hmm. what is your view of god our, our guest is alan minor right uh, a wonderful teacher of the word and a man with a very strong prophetic inclination mm. actually alan if you were to answer duncan yeah. what is your view of god um you see for me mm. god is for me you know there are many dimensions of mm-hmm. pictures of god mm-hmm. but i know him as a friend mm-hmm. That's number one. Okay. Number two, I know him as a father. Mm. All right. Number three, I know him as a shepherd. Mm-hmm. And I also know him as a king. Mm-hmm. So there are different areas yes. of how God reveals himself to you. Mm-hmm. As a father, as I said, mm-hmm. a father is one who knows your seasons in life. Mm. Has the best interest. And he has your best interest at heart. Right. Yeah. Number two, a father mm-hmm. yes. is one who has an inheritance for you. Mm. Okay. An inheritance is that means he didn't just throw you in life. Mm. He didn't just wake up and say, Hiya, mungina mezaliwa. Tutampeleka wapi. Atakula nini. 
No, like, yeah, she's, she's right here. No, okay. Uh, angels, angels, come this side, come that side. What do we do? What do we do? Cook up something, cook up something. You know? No, it was a plan. No, he's, you have to understand as a father, he's well, a god of plan. Yes. He's a god of purpose. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. a god of objectivity. Mm-hmm. Right. He's a god who understands your end from beginning. Mm-hmm. He's a god who's already made provision for mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and has already given you an inheritance. And inheritance. inheritance speaks for a place that is already carved in his plan for you mm-hmm. where you will excel. And yes. he's already provided the gifts, the talents, the abilities mm-hmm. for that, for yes. you mm. to excel once you find that purpose. Uh-huh. Right. And it's it's locked within uh, words which he will speak to you. Mm-hmm. And once he speaks to you this, he will now reveal what is in you. Mm-hmm. So God has already planned your yes. prosperity. Right. Love so that. there's an inheritance yes. for you. Ooh, Number three, on, you have on. to understand God is a God who also disciplines. Mm-hmm. But better than discipline, because it, it has a ne- negative connotation. Yes. He disciples. Mm. He Dis- disciples. Yeah, let me use the word disciples. Okay. Mm. Disciples means he empowers you to understand, to walk in your uh, uh, to, to to understand about boundaries, yes. uh, your limitations, and to uh, and to teach you respect for respect. for for your for your gift, mm-hmm. other people's gift, their place, mm-hmm. other people's place. How to d- discipleship is is mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. about teaching people about respect and their roles mm-hmm. and their responsibilities mm-hmm. and who they should be and who they should become. Mm-hmm. And discipline. Mm-hmm. Is is like discipling, mm. but sometimes um, edging, uh, um, um, cutting off mm-hmm. areas that can mm-hmm. sabotage yourself. Pruning. Yes, like to prune and issues Chamfering. like those. Mm-hmm. Yes, so that is also important to understand, mm. because if you don't understand that, mm. sometimes when God is dealing with you, you'll be so pissed off with Him, mm-hmm. so <laughs> angry with Him, and you don't know that what is dealing with is in you, very vital. He is actually delivering you. Mm. Like maybe you have pride, yeah, and He's dealing with it. And you are here and you're working in an office and then you are abused like a child and you you're here shaking wondering what's happening yes yeah don't yep. worry don't worry there's a reward after it it's just very difficult to see the reward swallow it, you know? <laughs> it's like the day can, my, my mom was see? beating me and she was the one crying and i didn't know what's going on and she said okay it's okay i want you to know this hurts me more than it, it hurts, hurts you that's a lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so once we understand that aspect, mm-hmm. then people will understand, understanding, okay, was he dealing with me? Now, mm-hmm. now people are wondering, okay, if God is so good, then wh- why, why did this happen to me? Mm-hmm. Why did that happen to me? Now, I want to also um, share something. Mm-hmm. There is um, the, the presence of truth, absence of truth. Yes. There are things we also encounter mm-hmm. and misfortunes because of the absence of truth. Mm-hmm. The Bible says the my people tr- yeah. perish, perish. Mm-hmm. sometimes because of lack of knowledge. Mm-hmm. So what happens is sometimes there are things and that can come to us mm-hmm. that that because either we did not understand yes, mm-hmm. or yes. we did not seek knowledge in the first place. Okay. Sometimes you suffer harm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's not the orchestration of God. It's not his oh, okay. then clap when you're there, mm-hmm. being stepped on, going through issues, issues yes, and stuff like that. Yes. So one thing I must say that mm-hmm. at the end of everything, God wants you to be better and to be able to achieve or to receive mm-hmm. what he actually kept for you and for you to be ready and prepared for it. Mm-hmm. The the most dangerous thing is for you, the, uh, these ch- children have been given everything mm-hmm. when they're growing up, mm-hmm. for you to get into a position of power yeah. and you had without preparation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's nothing as bad as power without preparation. Because, power without preparation. Yeah, because you abuse the power. You abuse people. Mm-hmm. You abuse the nation. You abuse the, the people under you. Can we say this is the, the what's mirroring with our current leadership? Oh, definitely. If they because were none of them were prepared for power. Yes, because most people. Mm. In fact, there's a there's a big mistake where people always look at someone who made it, who's very rich and powerful. I think it's better to be looking at who's been discipled. Uh, oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> Tweet moment. Yes, what? just look at yeah. who's been discipled. Yes, and try and see what. Small, small, little small um, achievements he mm-hmm. did when he was a disciple because mm-hmm. discipleship also includes training. Yeah, small yeah. little responsibilities here and there, mm-hmm. and at least you can pick. Okay, he did this. He was good at that. He did that. He mm-hmm. did this. So he's had some element of exposure, mm-hmm. so the power won't get into his head. 
So, Alan, you, you, you've been greeted this morning. Uh, sorry for cutting you short, mm -hmm. but I know you're going to continue in a few. Uh, Rhoda from Hazina Estate, mm -hmm. there's a small fellowship you guys have together. Uh, they want to say thank you very much for coming on. This is Rhoda. And then uh, from Lolongos, Mutu, this is Uhuru, the servant, mm -hmm. uh, says, Pastor Alan, this is very deep. I need more of your teachings. Mm -hmm. How and where can I get more of your teachings? And then, of course, we've got uh, uh, someone, Mark Kinuthia from Thika Road, uh, saying yeah. good morning to you and right. thank you for coming on to uh, mm -hmm. Pal Radio. Uh, you got any questions for our friend here today? Right. Uh, Alan Maina has has a depth of word, a yeah. depth of word, and indeed he's a great man of faith. That's right. Uh, he's my brother, probably one of the naughtiest I have, uh, <laughs> but uh, he's a really cool, cool man Amazing. of God. Yeah. yeah. When, when Duncan asked how I can see God as my father, mm -hmm. I want to rebuild this bridges. When, when I rebuild my bridge with God, mm -hmm. Will I be asked to build a bridge, rebuild a bridge with somebody? I see, see where I'm going, with, going this? with that one. Yeah, that I know is maybe to I know not that God knows. I know they're toxic, or I know they'll do me no good, or maybe do me harm all the days of my life. Mm -hmm. If I build my re if I rebuild my bridge with God, do I need to rebuild that bridge with them? That's a very good question. Um, there are two kinds of people. Mm -hmm. There are people who, um are are bad for you <laughs> let me just put it that yeah. way okay bad for and you. there are people who are good for you okay yeah mm -hmm. now one thing you need to understand mm -hmm. is that um but however as a man of god mm -hmm. or, or, or leaders who are out there mm -hmm. there are people who you are sent to mm. sent to yes okay mm -hmm. or called for okay and there are people you are not sent to <laughs> and you're not called for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so not every good person yes. is your assignment. Ah. <laughs> and not every right. bad person mm -hmm. can can fail to be assignment. Ooh. Personally, they have been sent for bad people. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We hear you loud and clear. Mm -hmm. and, and I have mentored egocentric, Ooh. you know. Yes. I have mentored uh, egocentric. Some, uh, egocentric people. Mm. I've mentored uh, <laughs> abusive people, manipulative, and issues like those. But for the time they were with me, yeah. there's some people I was sent to. And and that was to maybe help them uh, break mm -hmm. some of those um, negative things. And mm -hmm. I want to tell you that God is able because some of them changed. God is able. Yeah, Amen. some of them changed. And some of them, when they look at themselves, they say, oh my God, was this me? Mm -hmm. Did I actually do this? Did I actually say this? Sometimes I, I, I read their, their messages yes. back to them which they used to send me like four or five years ago. Yes. And yeah. they can say, I cannot believe it. They have that to check the me. number. Yeah. To confirm <laughs> it was me. They are the ones who are that, mm. Uh, mm. that way. However, in coming to your question, is you have to understand something. There's some relationships which you have to forgive and let go. God has to help you. It's mm -hmm. not you. It's God's help. God helping you to forgive, release, and let them go. Mm -hmm. Because there's some people who you don't have to restore a relationship with, but mm -hmm. you can forgive and let go. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can forgive and let go. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. you now start going to look for this person who um, is has doesn't have mm -hmm. like maybe is not prepared. There are people who are good, but they they are not prepared to prepared. handle you, mm -hmm. or maybe ah. they don't have the capacity to handle to you. handle you. Thank you. And let me yep. point, just just throw something about marriage. Here we go. There are women who want to marry some people, but I want to say this: just a disclaimer. Not everybody who you're attracted to is someone who you can live with, or has the capacity to handle you, mm -hmm. or has the wisdom, the depth or even the ability to handle you. So you can be attracted to somebody and that person is doesn't have the makeup to be a good wife mm. or a good husband. So you have to But also you're attracted have, to them. You're attracted to them or you can be vice versa. Just that you know, you attract yeah. like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you know. You, I want you to go deeper with this. Yeah. So and I want and I want I want you that's listening now yeah. don't feel bad stop rolling your eyes at the radio. Yeah. We're going to take a break while that sinks in. Sponge. Mm. Sponge on that. Circumstances. <laughs> a Valentine is coming. <laughs> Where is your boyfriend? <laughs> yes. 
uh, Alan Maina is going to touch a little bit more on that in the next hour. Right. You want to stick around to hear mm. that you could be attracted to somebody, but they're not made up for you. Mm. Oh. So, so Alan, Alan is our guest this morning on, on Pal Radio. You can see him on www.palradio.co.ke. Mm. I am a thief. So my, my work shall prosper, no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you prosper in vivo. You, you, you can yeah. prosper, but it will be short lived. Ah. <laughs> but you see, the process has to take place. Of what theory? Of where do thieves end up eventually? Yes. Mm. Amen. Mm. If you believe it, say <laughs> amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good morning from Tina Nzuki. Danko Talaku. And Alan Miner. There we go. And he he's settling the score right now because right. before we took a break, uh, Alan and he's gonna take some time to pray for you this morning. Is that okay? Would you like Alan to pray for you? Because yes. he he will and he can and he will. You said and you, you, we were talking about rebuilding bridges with God. Th- there's some bridges that have been burnt with God because of relationships. Mm-hmm. You believe that you believe in your heart. God has brought this person into your life, and then God says, Mm-mm, <laughs> "That wasn't me." And then you made a statement. You said it is possible to be attracted to a person, but they've not been made up for you. And now I, I've just seen 25,000. All of a sudden, Gasps. people came, yeah, came alive. <laughs> what does he mean? I feel judged. <laughs> yeah. So No, for real, this guy says, I feel attacked. Yes. Yeah. So go mm-hmm. ahead. All right. You need to understand that what, um, what you're prepared for is prepared for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what you need to understand is there are people who don't have capacity you need to understand something. Yeah. That if you have a Vitz, for example, mm-hmm. and uh, you want to carry like 20 tons on that Vitz, mm-hmm. it, you may have all the kindest intentions, <laughs> but the, the car will just, will just give way and break and, and, and just, because it can't carry 20 tons. Yes. It can't. Yeah. Some, some people out there are great. They have great purposes, great destinies. They they have taken time, allowed God to pour into them. And one of the biggest problems that has been there this is a, a mismatch. Mismatch? Of people mm-hmm. who have greatness, but yes. you're trying to connect with people mm-hmm. who don't have the capacity to handle that greatness. That's so scary. How, okay, like someone would ask right now, and I'm sure they're asking, how do you know? All right, it's very simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's simple yet not simple. Let okay. me say it that way. Because you see, you need to understand something. Mm-hmm. When you're dating or when you're meeting somebody, mm-hmm. the biggest problem that has been there is people don't ask the right questions. Don't ask the right questions. Yeah. Okay. They usually say, I, I feel this about him. I feel that mm-hmm. about him. And you need to understand that relationships go through long seasons mm-hmm. whereby those feelings will disappear. One time you look at that person. Yeah. Talk to you and the couples. Mm. They wake up and look and say, what, who is this stranger in <laughs> next to me? Yes. And that, yes. That, that is something you need to understand mm-hmm. happens. So if you don't understand that and you say it's because I feel him or I think this chemistry, I I think there's that. Those are the wrong questions. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you have great chemistry, Mm -hmm. in fact, this happened to a lady I know. Mm. (laughs) She said she had great chemistry toward this person. He was tall. Mm -hmm. He was not dark, but he was tall, but very handsome. Yeah. And she said, oh, this is the man for me. Like Mm me. Yeah. Oh, my God. She was... uh, (laughs) <laughs> no, it wasn't like you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, because it what I'm going to say about the man... You, you, you threw okay, yourself okay, in there. Okay, not like me. Uh, okay, yeah, yes. Because yes. what I'm going to say about the man is yes. not very positive. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, all right so all he's right. not like Dan mm. No. Because Dan is lots of positive. Amen. Yes. The man turned out to be a con man. Hi. Jehovah. Yeah, not he, me, oh. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, he, no way. He was a con man. And uh, he used to handle like... Um, stolen goods as mm. well and he used to, he was into lots of issues of gambling and issues like those and um, and not just conning but serious conning you know serious conning so when this lady met this person right he looks right in the tongue of a con man in him yes mm. oh my god the girl was just over heels mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. and she, you come and say this is the person i'm attracted to it's because right. you not ask the right questions mm. And then she, when she found out mm. those feelings she had, that's what I'm telling you, they are very temporary. <laughs> they all vanished yeah. and she went to the, running to the hills. Immediately. <laughs> yeah, but that's when she found out. When yes. she and found thank out. thank God yes. somebody pointed it to her. Mm-hmm. And then she confirmed 
before the it was too late yeah before yeah. it was too late mm. and this has happened to me over and over like cancelling people different yes. people yeah. they keep bringing people and uh, the same thing happened on a friend of mine yeah. and when they just get married my friend found out that guy was already married hey uh, then when she went to find out she found he had wiped the account she had already in a, had a joint account all the um, the, savings, the money everything. their savings yes. he had Shh. wiped out and no. he and uh, the guy was gone so what i'm trying to say Why? is that yeah. and in that case is common mm. yeah mm. i'm not talking about in one instance i've had so many ladies right to right. tell me the, almost the same thing so what i'm trying to say that what are the right questions what are the right questions mm. those are the things people need to ask because if you have proper understanding mm-hmm. it will really save you a yes. lot of heartbreak mm. <laughs> and the right questions is treat every um, relationship like an interview Okay. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Sit down. Google Welcome. the proper questions. Yes. Yeah. This is your life. You can't this gamble your life. This. Yes. this is your life. Yeah. Yes. Um, also, be careful about now. There's a lot of cases of mental illness. You Correct. Know? Yeah. Yes. You, you don't want yes. to hook up with a guy. He's so quiet. So everything. But uh, two minutes later, Mona, why do you have problems with quiet people? <laughs> because quiet people are the strange ones. Yeah. You see, when someone is not very expressive you're not able to read a lot that's what the problem is mm. so they're not bad but sometimes oh, it's um i'm not saying that the good that the, the, the loud ba- people yeah. are better mm. no but i'm trying to say but some, but sometimes in their loudness mm. you you they, can't they, they, they can you can you can you can, yes. can point out if someone tells you how the day you dare you're gonna die <laughs> if, you hear, <laughs> if you hear that already you you start planning an Run. exit early ac- exit Run. yeah before he exits you you know yes. <laughs> or she exits you yes you know but if someone uh-huh. is very quiet smiling and sometimes you're not able to so i know i know people already asking what the right questions are and stuff like that mm-hmm. and um and um what the, what this has to do but mm-hmm. What we said sharing and what we're sharing is, is still interconnected. Somehow, yes. you, mm-hmm. we'll tie them together. So what I'll yeah. tell you is some of the right questions you need to ask somebody. If you want to know somebody for real, go find out about their past. Their past? Yes. Okay. But it was That's written it. off. Uh, <laughs> see what Duncan says but it was written it. off <laughs> yes that's that, that's a good thing but unfortunately many people's minds have not conformed yet Ooh. to the writing of yeah the bible says be not conformed to the world but Patterns to the of transforming the world, the world. Mm. so th- even if you're born again and you're changed and stuff like mm. that i need to find out if you have a pattern of abusing yes mm. if you've had a partner of 18 married <laughs> women you have mm-hmm. abused or been in 18 relationships or you have a harem yes or yes or if you have that kind of pattern and mm-hmm. no, that's just your past but mm-hmm. you need to also find out the background the background is where did this one go to school what to, when you go to to have coffee or to stuff like that talk about school where did you go to school what was it about and stuff like that then once you find out someone these are the things you should pick out mm. pick out what they do when they are angry hey should we wait for them to express no ask even oh. even <laughs> you let them lie be even be, 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 be in the subtle about it yeah. ask yourself like oh what is this ex i had one time he did this and this and oh my god i was so angry with him Oh, well, I, uh, you're, so you're, you're leading him on, and mm. you'll say, "Oh, there's this ex who did this to me. I banned her car." <laughs> ah. That was ready, has already told you. Like good for him. Get ready for your car to be banned. <laughs> good Today, for you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you, you say you agree, but we see those those are pointers. Those are the things I'm trying to tell you. So you read. Try and focus on issues that really matter in a relationship like for example what does a person do when they're angry yes. what do they do when they're disappointed yes what do they do when they're down yeah well, how do they express themselves how do they express themselves yeah. those are the things which are important you yeah. know what i'm thinking i'm thinking alan there's a depth of wisdom when it comes especially to relationships and it, marriage that you it. hold why don't we bring you back and then get absolutely specific about marriage about relationships mm-hmm. about engagements yes uh, because we need to rescue some of our brothers and oh, our yeah. sisters right that have put themselves in a hole and are still digging mm-hmm. yes. and we we want them to understand that this is not to try and break you or, or break your heart mm-hmm. but to rescue you and yes. in, in 2022 yeah. yeah we need to start asking the right questions yes, yes. not just sitting and talking about emotions mm-hmm. and, and only oh, this can and, and butterflies because and just mm-hmm. 
but yeah. asking the right, right. questions. Right. When yes. you read Joshua 1 1, Moses, my servant, is dead. That was yeah. said with a finality. Something is dead, it cannot rework itself, mm-hmm. it cannot come back to life. Right. How about we guide you out of this place that you've put yourself in and about to dig deeper? Mm-hmm. And it's not just for you, it's for the generations that are coming. Mm-hmm. That's right. They will be affected. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how about we bring you back? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, most definitely. In the meantime, are you able to pray for us this morning? Definitely. As, as a spirit leads? Yes. yes. Right? We're going to take some time and pray this morning. I uh, would like you to join us on Pal Radio 96.9 as uh, Alan leads us. We were talking about rebuilding. Yes. Uh, rebuilding bridges yeah. with God. Yes. And uh, just as the spirit leads, because this is a man with a very pro- you know, strong prophetic uh, right. inclination and right. a man of faith, mm-hmm. he'll lead us in that direction. All right. Go ahead and pray. Yeah. All right. As, a, as I'm praying for you, mm. I want to talk to people right there who feel God let them down. God is not in their lives. God mm. is, they, they, they're totally angry with God. I'm here to tell you that God is a good shepherd that, that leaves the 99 and comes for the ones. So today God is coming for you wherever you are at. Mm. I know you're broken. You don't even want to hear what I'm saying, but there's no problem. We, it's not you reaching out to us. It's us reaching out to you. Yes. And so we are speaking to that place where you're broken. We speak to people who are depressed. Mm. We speak to people who are, who are already... Um, I mean, caught up with lots of inf- in, in, um, brokenness within mm-hmm. and they don't even understand how to come out where they are. Yes. So I'm, pr- I'm praying for you right now that may the God of mercy mm-hmm. stretch his hand right now yes. and pour his mercy on your wounds right mm-hmm. now. May God bind you, mm-hmm. bind your wounds and cause total healing. Yes, yes. One thing I also wanted to say is that God is a God of restoration. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm speaking now to the people who are broken right now. Mm-hmm. Be restored in your yes, mind. Jesus. Be restored in your heart mm-hmm. as we to broken relationships those that are crafted and uh, were, were initiated by God I will speak a total rebuilding in Jesus mm-hmm. name we speak to those ones who have been let go those who have been left those ones who seem like they're, they're not good enough mm-hmm. we are speaking to your heart let there is strength and there is an inheritance for you yes. you are not called just to suffer mm. so we are decreeing right now it, we usher you mm. by faith mm. into a place of restoration yeah. yes. into a pla- an inheritance you will get your own mm. be healed in your mo- in your in your soul be healed yes. in your mind yes. be healed in your spirit be healed in your body mm-hmm. we decree total healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet yes. we ask you right now turn your eyes upon mm-hmm. Jesus I know you've been broken your heart you don't know what to do but and today I'm coming with my uh, with the book of Matthew mm. chapter 11 that come unto me all you who are weary and heavy laden mm-hmm. and I'll give you rest I speak rest right now yes. and we and take God will take your burdens off you so we remove that burden of depression that yes. burden of lack that b- burden where you are lost you don't know what will happen or where, maybe the next meal will come from but today we speak a mighty reconciliation right yes. now yes. as we begin the ministry of reconciliation by faith we speak the hand of Jesus mm-hmm. to catch you and reach you where you are yes. and pull you out and make a way where there seems to be no way. Yes. You will have more than enough. Your, mm-hmm. We speak your heart to be healed. Mm-hmm. We speak your mind to be made whole. Mm-hmm. We speak to every issue, even conditions that yes. are physical, yes. to bow and to align now. Yes. Yes. For you to find a place mm-hmm. where you will be honored by God. Oh, you will be on. preserved by God. Come on, come on. You will be blessed by God. Yes. Yes. You will find an inheritance from God. Yes. And you will live a prospered life. You may not see it right now, but I call it by faith. Because yes. we call those things that are not as though they are and we decree them in your life Mm -hmm. that you will find that which God has ordained for you. Yes. You will succeed in it. You will accomplish your God-given assignment purpose. Mm -hmm. And right now you may not see anything but that's not a problem. Yes. We are speaking it into being. May it find you where you are. Mm -hmm. And where your hand cannot reach out to God we speak for his hand to reach you where Mm -hmm. you are. So be reconciled right now. Turn to God and ask God, God, father me again. Mm -hmm. Shepherd me again. God may choose to use people to do that. Yes. The same way there's a counterfeit note mm-hmm. and there's also a true note. They, they are genuine godly fathers mm-hmm. yes. who will be sent by God mm-hmm. to, to fish you out. I'm sure you don't want to hear these some people, but God will reach you mm-hmm. through whomever you are. Just ask God to father you. Mm-hmm. Ask God to mentor you. Ask God yes. to reach you out, to, re- 
reach out to you wherever mm-hmm. you are. Mm-hmm. So in the name of Jesus, we speak a reaching right yes. now. We speak a reaching right now. Wherever you are, you will be reached right now. The help of God will reach you where you are. Mm-hmm. Be it financial, be it material, be it mm-hmm. physical, mm-hmm. be it emotional, be it psychological. Mm-hmm. We decree a divine restoration mm-hmm. into the house of God. Mm-hmm. You will find a place in God. You will be uh, uh, um, uh, the, all your lost years will be restored mm. back to you and God will wipe out your tears. Mm. I leave you with this word that God will wipe out your tears and that there will be no crying no more mm-hmm. and that God will give you a new hope and will give you peace. So I speak yes. total wholeness yes. in your heart, mind, body, soul and spirit. Mm-hmm. And for those ones who are there who are standing for family, we speak let it reach out to your family. Yes. Let it reach out. Release and forgive and just let it go. Forgive even if it's not for the other. Forgive for yourself. Mm. That God can free you and heal you. For all those who've been molested, we break that spirit of molestation. Yes. We yes. break that spirit of aggravation, uh, of rape, of whatever happened to you. Mm-hmm. We break it and we decree healing in that place. And we bind up those wounds and we say, may God unite you right now to a place of wholeness Mm. we ask god to visit and transform each and every life Mm. that is under the sound of this voice and i will hear this in the name of jesus christ of nazareth Mm. you are healed you are whole allow god to take you to a person who will mentor you allow Mm. god to lead you back to himself allow god to also begin afresh and we and i speak to you it will not be like what it was before Mm -hmm. you will not be afflicted a second time Mm -hmm. in jesus name we decree it and declare it amen amen Amen. 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 come on somebody come on amen wow wow what a prayer what a prayer thank you so much for taking time to to show up today and me i don't let you go but we we have to let you go but yeah you know even as alan played prayed mm-hmm. want to remind you you can download the cruiser app that's right uh, it, it's an app even as he's prayed and talked about relationships many of these questions mm-hmm. are asked also on the cruiser app mm-hmm. and download it from the google play store and or the app store yes. and uh, get get ahead get ahead and walking with christ thank you we're looking so far to the next time we're going to have you mm-hmm. we can tell you you're the man you're a man of your word man you're you got a good word you that's got a right. good word on the inside of you mm-hmm. yeah all right we're going to make room for Alex Gengeng. Yes. He's on the way, the man with the music. Yes. Alex is going to take you to the top of the hour. Exactly. But mm-hmm. um, from 10 all the way to 10.30, yes. we have Ecclesia Africa. Ecclesia Africa. Ecclesia Africa. We're going to, you know, just uh, encourage us this morning. Yes. But then it's at 10.30 all the way to 1 where we're going to be having Yvonne Mutui host, none other but than Betty Kithele. She's a psychologist. Yes. And the question is, is age difference a major factor? In a relationship, what wow. do you think, Duncan? Ati Duncan, Alan. Alan, is age difference a major factor in a relationship? Well, it depends on what age you're talking about. <laughs> 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 we are not even going to go into that. You know what? Just leave it alone. <laughs> but thank you so much, Alan, for taking time to show up here. Ninety-six point nine FM, Pearl Radio.